in this lecture we will see about the move command so in order to do that what you have to do is you can just simply go to modify and there in the modify you will find this move command alternatively what you can do is even if you go and just simply click on any of this element just like that it will take you to the modify command and here you will find this move command so let me press escape let me show you how you can use this so as you can see here that this is the wall and if let's say if I want to move it then uh, I can just simply go and click on this one here and from here I, I have to first of all specify the base point so I can choose this one as base point or this one the this corner or the this center one or any of these learn or even I can take the base point outside this region as well okay so now let me just simply choose this one this as base point and after that you can see that uh, you can just simply take this wall anywhere you want just like this one and all you need is just to simply drag or what you can do is from here you can actually enter the value as well so I can just simply enter type and after that I can simply hit enter and it will uh, move this wall from this face to this face like that you can click on this one you can see that this one is already clicked and if you look here you can clearly see uh, the shortcut for move is MV so what you can do is you can just simply go and click on MV to activate the move command and after that you can just choose this one as endpoint and after that you can move this one here or even you can go on in this direction even you can go in this direction you can go in any direction you want so if you just want to constrain this only in two direction which is vertical or horizontal in that case you have to make sure that this constraint is ticked mark and if this one is ticked mark uh, in that case you can only move this one on the upper hand side or the lower uh, on the uh, horizontal direction or as well as in the vertical direction as you can see and let me show you what this uh, disjoint will do let me press escape so in order to demonstrate that what I will do is I will just simply draw a wall here in this region after that I will press escape so what I will do is I will just simply select this wall and after that I will type MV okay and now you can see that uh, this, this this disjoint is unticked so if I just simply click on this one and if I try to move this one you will see that also the uh, length of this wall is on so increasing if I try to decrease uh, that one but just uh, you can see uh, if I just decrease the this one this length is also increasing or decreasing depending on this wall so if say let's say you don't want this increment in the in this region in that case you have to just uh, what you can do is let me just simply press escape you have to select this wall and after that all you need is just to simply type MV and all you need is just to simply tick mark this disjoint and if you this time try to move this wall it will not increase the length of this wall because right now this one is disjointed so that's why uh, the, the length of this wall is not increasing so in this is all about the move command